Have you always been wondering how other people make money with their social media accounts or managing other people's social media accounts? Then today's video is for you because I am diving into what a social media manager really is and how you can become one fast. Hey, my name is Mail and I own a multi six figure social media agency and I now help social media managers do the same. If you're new here, make sure to grab my free roadmap to becoming a six figure social media manager that I'll leave right here. Now let's dive in. Now, first of all, a social media manager is a creative. Now, what do I mean by this? There are going to be a lot of components and responsibilities in your job as a social media manager that are going to require you to be creative, right? Now, if you're like, I'm not a creative person at all, I don't enjoy being creative, then being a social media manager may not be for you. Depending on whether whether you're working with or in a large team or not, you are going to be taking on multiple creative roles as the social media manager. Now think of graphic design, creating graphics for social media, creating video. Maybe you will be showing up on the video as the brand ambassador. So much of the work that you'll do as a social media manager is being a creative. All social media managers will focus on creative work that goes and gets published published online on brand accounts. Now, secondly, a social media manager is a communicator. No matter what you'll be working on, big part of your every day-to-day -day task as a social media manager includes communication. So whether you're communicating with followers, clients, you know, new people online, or communicating through your copy, the creative process that we just talked about, you will be communicating on a daily basis. Now, a big part of being a social media manager is also building communities around a brand online, right? So this can either be the community manager, but more often than not, a social media manager will take on parts of that community managing role in order to support the brand overall. And at the end of the day, no one knows the brand better than the social media manager because they spend so much time inside the accounts. Now, other parts that may be included when you're doing community management on behalf of a client as a social media manager include being timely and responsive to DMs, comments that you receive, sometimes referring people to the right person, right? Because a lot of people nowadays treat social media as a customer service, right? Because brands are more responsive online through the social media manager. So there's a lot of communication involved. And don't forget that the social media manager really is the forefront of the business online, right? So as a social media manager, you're constantly putting yourself out there through the brand account. And so communication is a huge part of what a social media manager does and is. Now, if you want to know exactly what all of these tasks that I'm going over today entail, then make sure you check out my other video on what a social media manager actually does. Now, thirdly, a social media manager is a manager. Now, while the title social media manager may speak for itself, there are many many, many components that you're going to be taking on and you truly become a manager of the online brand, right? So it's really important for you to be great at time management, at managing tasks, being very, very organized, knowing when to do what, because again, you're going to be responsible for a lot of different roles that are included in managing a social media presence. So you are a true manager as you schedule content, right? Come up with creative concepts, execute them, manage the community that's already there, right? And making sure they're taken care of. So you're managing all of these pieces as a social media manager. So you are a true manager of the online brand. Now, of course, the more responsibilities that you take on as a social media manager, the more organized you have to be and keep track of all the things that you're doing, especially if you end up taking on more than one client, which we see both in-house, but also as a freelancer. If you have no clue where to start in your social media manager journey, or you wanna be set up for success, I have a bundle called the Thriving Social Media Manager for $99 that includes all the resources I use in my six-figure social media agency, from lead generating to taking care of the onboarding with a client. You can find all my templates 
that's inside this one bundle and you can download it right here. Now that we have covered three main areas of what a social media manager really is, how does one become a social media manager? Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can go into the route of a social media manager, right? You can A, become a freelance social media manager and work for yourself, build your own business, or you can become an in-house social media manager and take on a job full-time, part-time, either way. So these are two completely different routes that you can take, but the biggest thing is how does one become one, right? Of course, we all start with no experience, right? And especially social media being such a new industry and job title, most of the skills in social media and marketing in general are self. Now, while nowadays we see master's degrees on social media marketing and things like that, a lot of these, this component of becoming one is very much self-taught. So whether you're starting off managing your first client's account or you learn as you go in an internship or at an actual job, becoming a social media manager requires execution and you doing. So for myself, I became a freelancer right off the bat and I gained experience through my first client actually alongside I was taking a quote-unquote internship or volunteership where I would support a non-profit with my social media skills but I was truly building my skills through this partnership and so this is something you can do too so that you can gain experience without having the pressure to perform but either way that is one way for you to get started whether you're applying to a job or you're simply trying to get an internship or work with your first client which is likely going going to be someone that you know within your network, whether it's a friend, a family, so that you can get experience and yes, you can still get paid for your time. Now, if you want to know the ins and outs, how to become a social media manager in 2024, I created a video that brings you from step A to Z so that you can become one this year. Now that wraps up my video on what a social media manager is and how to become one. I hope this gave you clarity in whether you want to go down the route of becoming a social media manager or not and to set you up for success. If you found this video helpful and want to see more in-depth content from me and tutorials on how to do the work as a social media manager and strategist, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next week's video.